recently asked to do a teaching moment on the clergy vestments and the robes that I have in my office and that I sometimes wear. And so I thought I'd do that and I made some signs so you can understand what it is I'm saying. So the first is this that I'm wearing right now, this plain white robe. This is called an alb and it's a sign of our baptism. It is uh, clergy can wear it, lay people can wear it, anyone can wear an alb, and it is reflective of the garbs that were used in the first century for the baptismal gowns as people went into the water and back up. And so anyone who is baptized can wear an alb, clergy and laity. Something that is reserved only for clergy is the robe. This is uh, clergy who have a degree, particularly a master's degree. And it comes from the academic gowns that were used in, the fun uh, the, used in universities in Europe. So it's sometimes called a preaching gown or a preaching robe. I wear the alb for all of our sacraments, baptism and communion, and if asked for a wedding. And I usually use the robe for serious preaching like at a funeral um, and just as a more somber occasion when I would wear the, the preaching robe. You also have seen me wear this purple scapular. The scapular is not a sign of any particular office, but it is a modeled after the apron that monks would wear over their gowns, over their habits, um, as their, their working apron. So it's a sign of being a worker in the kingdom of God. And again, it's not related to any office, so clergy or laity could wear this. I only wear this one because it's purple. I only wear it during Advent and Lent. And I don't have any other colors because I don't. Then we have the stole, and this is probably the most recognized of the clergy symbols, but it is reserved for those who are ordained, either they're deacons or elders in the Methodist Church or any denomination, really. This one was one of my grandfather's stoles, and so someday when I am ordained, when the bishop lays his hands on me and says, I ordain you in the name of Jesus Christ to serve and minister to his people, then I get to wear it. But until then, they just hang in my office. The last item that I wanted to talk about today, I made a mess of this, oh well, is the cincture. So the cincture is the rope belt that keeps the all closed. So I'm wearing white today because we are in the white season. I have a set in the liturgical color so I always match whatever season we're in with the, with the right color. And so, but they're just the rope belts that keep the all closed. And that is a brief introduction to the clergy vestments. I feel like I should be taking questions, but I'm not going to. I invite our liturgists to come forward to lead us in our affirmation of faith. And